breathe in, breathe out. Gotta say, it's nice and relaxing that we're out here hunting. Indeed. Finally retired. Thor, what is it, Leo? Kinda don't like this ball. Okay, so so we should go get a better one. <sighs> enough is enough. You need to retire. <sighs> Silly frost troll, don't you know? Bow in hand. What's up, Rastro Bros? Welcome back to Retirement Optional. And today, we are currently searching taverns in search of a better bow. For you see, the bone biter bow of Souls and Pool is, of course, a little outdated. We could use something a little more feisty, perhaps Daedric even. Did I hear you say Daedric? Indeed we have. Your turn to well, hours to listen. you're in luck. It just so happens that there's a shrine close by, or at least relatively close by to Nissus. A place, I forget the exact name, but it's somewhere along the lines of like something some shishi, like a Malka shishi, I think. Yes, you should find it somewhere to the west, far west of Nissus, until you start to see the Ashlands and get, of course, close to the mountain range of Red Mountain. Then you should start to look north. I know these directions must be a little iffy for an outlander as yourself, no offense, but I'm afraid that's the best this one has. Hmm. Very well. Thank you for the advice. For your troubles, I give you a few septums. They're yours, by all means. All right, well you heard him. We got a shrine, we got a hunt. Close by Nisus or the, but I guess it would kind of be north of here as well. So of course you can take a route from Nisus, but of course we could also go north if we so choose. So yeah, we should be able to travel northwards. Let's head on out, shall we? Alright, on to adventure. See where the road takes us. Look at who it is. 
Hihi, Jeffrey, Jeffrey the Scrib. Hihi. Hihi, put the Scrib, put the Scrib. Anyways, there's somewhere over here. Honestly, this seems like the only Daedra Kruin out here for miles. There's plenty of Jeffreys hanging around. Indeed, this is probably the this is probably the shrine. Let's hope that Argonian didn't rip us off. Yeah. Hopefully, there's actually something worth uh, looting here. An actually good bow and. Wow. Yeah, do you think we'll be, you know, like, too powerful with a, a better bow? Like, if we had a Daedric longbow, wouldn't that be a little too powerful? Hmm, perhaps. Or perhaps... We could use just the right amount of powerful. Of course, we got a we got a stud to deal with here. Yeah. Okay. Let's make them run out of mana. Ooh, this is actually pretty nice gameplay right here. Using this uh, structure to actually maneuver around in a way to probably take these guys out. This is actually some quality stealth archer king player right here. Like, this is what stealth archer in Morrowind actually looks like. Shiver, if you're watching this, this is what Stealth Archer and Morrowind looks like. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Indeed. It is powerful stuff. Now let's ensure that we can loot these corpses. Firebite's nice, but... It's not the best. See what the Tremor has. Ho 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 ho. Deidre Kwakazaki. Now that is a weapon worth carrying. Yeah, we can use that. Now, I'm gonna have to drop all this useless crap. should definitely save up there because that that we need now let's see if there's a good entrance into this place Ooh. winged twilight say good night So you kill a winged twilight. Hmm. Could Delvani aim a little over there. Or we could parkour. I like the idea of parkour. Because it looks like there's a balcony up there. And honestly, we're going to find... Oh, crap. Point blank range. Anyways, we're gonna find any good loot. It'll not be where the cliff racers are. Like, seriously. Do these cliff racers ever just decide to not annoy us? Like, 
Indeed, they are quite a pain. No, right? That's what I'm saying. Alright. Where is he? Alright. Come on. I'm a raptor. Roar. Come on. You know what? Enough fighting you on your turf. I'm gonna fight you where you're comfortable. That is how you kill cliff races. Alright. We're definitely gonna have to get that Daedric Wakasaki enchanted. Indeed, that would be a very powerful addition to our weaponry. Yeah. Now, this here looks like a interesting balcony up here. And oh. So look at that, there's Actually, more stuff up here. Hmm. Perhaps this area has some more treasure. Yeah, perhaps there's going to be a Daedra Colombo in here. Hmm, perhaps. This looks like the place. Hmm. Now, if I were Daedra Colombo. Where would I be? Probably not this winged twilight. Yeah. She does seem kinda easy to kill though. Yes, indeed. And just like that, twilight down. Yeah. There's a balcony up there. Yeah, we could probably even just up up there with one of her level one spells, just like that. Well, that was easy. Yeah, almost too easy. I mean, huh? Well, anyways, that's how you get a Daedric longbow. Indeed, to look to fifty compared to one to twenty. This one thinks this weapon's an upgrade. Oh yeah. I mean, look at that too. Oh, that looks powerful. I know, right? It's also this restore look. Uh, that's a propylon index. Yeah, these things are rare. We will take that with us. Whoever the skeleton was, in his life he was a very wealthy person. Yeah, he even had some Daedric arrows. Perhaps we could take these too. Yeah. And we could use these to enchant them possibly. Make some powerful arrows with very specific targets. Indeed. These will be just in case. Ooh, and we have a lock. But no lock is safe from us. For you see, we hold the key to everything. Throw open. Double spear. Tamriel. Heartbreak ring. Damage health 10 to 50 on touch. That's powerful. We can keep that as an artifact. There's also some pretty pricey potions here. And moderate books. Yeah. Simple treasures if you ask me. Alright, let's uh let's explore the rest of this dungeon, I suppose. Indeed. Would be a shame not to see what else. What was that? Would 
be a shame to not see what else this dungeon has to offer. Yeah. You know what that was? Not the clue. But whatever it is, it really doesn't sound happy. Like seriously. What is that? Snarling like a werewolf. Indeed. Where... Where was that snarling coming from? It sounded like it was coming from over here. See anything? Not seeing anything. Let's jump. Well... Sneak around. Alright. Seems like there's not really much else down here. Stay in this fire. Does this dungeon even have anything else of interest? Hmm, perhaps not. I mean, this just seems like a useless area. Hmm, perhaps if we were to... Parkour... What? There's a winged twilight. Stuck in the ground. Hmm. That is peculiar. But I suppose we seem weirder. This bow seems to do a lot more damage. Indeed it does. This will make hunting a lot easier. For the killing blow and done for. Alright, well, where was that taken care of, but what was that other snarling? Like all that horrible growling, sounded like it was coming from something. First we can jump up here. And let's just equip our amulet. So we can get stuck. Um, hmm, perhaps we shouldn't. Great. Well, looks like this is all we can do here. Hmm. Well, it was a good explore. Perhaps one day we could venture back here. But for now, I suppose that would have to be it. Perhaps we could. Liel? Maybe just a little. Liel? Mm. I am such a tease. Ugh. Because I, you know, I want to go on an adventure. For the love of Zora, Liel. 